All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's get this started. Been doing good so far. We've been winning quite a few games, so I believe we're one or two wins away from Twilight Shadow, get the ranking. I think that's rank seven. I'd have to double check, Best but not too bad here. Um, let's see, we can start. Let's just get the relic on the field, use all of our mana. I've been liking this idea about, you know, since I'm playing like an aggro deck, at least I, at this point, using as many of the, you know, crystals that I can ahead of time. Oh, no turn, or no movement on turn one for him. Okay, so we already have our relic on the board from being as efficient as we could on the first turn. I don't really like using Battle Bard here. I mean, I guess I could just hero power end my turn, or I could call for another relic with Reckoning, but I mean, I could develop the board, but uh, I, yeah, just use the God Power and let's move on. He pretty much gave us a free turn anyway, so we'll just, we'll take it. Throw it right back at him and continue to have cards in our hand. Alright, so we got a 3-3 three, three on the field. Ooh, we got our lion. Just like we've been playing. The lion's been helping me win quite a few games so far. So I've been really enjoying it. Okay, uh, what do we do here? We can clear it with, uh, with our relic. We can summon the lion. Uh, we could, yeah, we could kill it, clear it with Avalanche Strike, actually, might be better. Yeah, so then we still have a, we can use this. Okay, now we have Enduring Shield, and we can keep our Relic on the board. Don't really have a lot of minions. Maybe I should have put the Battle Bard already in the game. I, I know I'm sacrificing his roar ability, but whatever. Okay, 3-5 Frontline. Okay, how are we going to get past this? I don't think we are going to get past this. Okay, let me think, let me think. We can do three damage with our relic. Break him down to two. Um, oh man, what can we do here? See, I can't attack with this relic. I learned that on the last turn, try, on the last game, trying to attack with this relic and then summoning the Devouring Blade. So we're just going to do this. Let's get the lion on board. Let's use the roar feature to get it a little bit stronger. So now if it attacks, at least I can survive one round if it wants to kill my lion. I mean, there's plenty of other ways he could take him out, and that's happened in quite a few games. So maybe the lion isn't as great of a legendary card, but it has won me some games, and it's been fun using it. Oh, he used a roar. Okay, now we go to 4-5. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. Maybe he can kill it regardless. He's attacking face. He doesn't think I can get through the front line. Okay, now I have options. Um, now I have options. I could get Highland Defender on the field and summon a front line. And it's a roar, so then my line will go up one, and then I can kill this guy. I can kill their front line, but then I can't deal. I can't deal with this bad boy. I guess I just would have to attack face then. Okay, let's go to four. Let's go to 5-6. Okay, he's done. Attack face, and that'll be my turn. Okay, so I still I have a front line up, which forces him to attack here. I can use Red Fume Serum on the next turn and really pack some massive damage, or Enduring Shield to protect the lion. I think it would protect the lion. I don't know who it would go to, actually. All right, 2-4 front line. 2-1. 2-4 front line. Um, I would still survive with lion if I attack the front line directly. And then I can kill... Oh, no, but... Uh, see, then he would kill my Highland Defender if I attack the other creature. Um, we could use Devouring Blade. Then I would be left with one mana. If I could... If I summon another Highland Defender, then my Lion would would go up another 1-1. One, one. I don't know what to do here. Yeah. Okay, let's just pick him up. All right, let's kill off this frontline minion. Mm. Okay, and now, yeah, let's kill the other creature. And we have complete control of the board. So unless he has some way to clear... See, this is the thing that I... Since I don't know all the cards yet, I don't know what kind of board clear all these different gods have. So I don't really know, like, is this... 
like maybe he has board clear right now and he wipes me, but like I have three, two, one, one in terms of health on my minions, so you know, he can easily clear one ones. I think if he doesn't clear this, uh, I think we need to go for the jugular on the next two six. Each friendly creature gains deadly. Well, that's not going to matter right now. I just have to get through it. Um, okay, how do I get through it, though? So I've got the five three. I can survive. Enduring shield. I could just use red furum. Uh, serum. Red fume serum. And just trade leaving me with the lion and the front line mm, what about devouring blade devouring blade four damage down to two now then I have to sacrifice the front line what about over here draw a card Regis. flank uh, flank no I I need to I need to double check what flank does but I think it, it would only be for that creature anyway I don't think it would there's other cards that like give flank that I have, but I still don't really understand it. All right, red fume serum. Here we go, going for the win. We're gonna trade, trade. Now he's got the line. You got to deal with it, or it's game over. Do some massive damage now. He'll survive one turn, maybe. I mean, right now I'm threatening lethal already. Oh, and I could do three damage to an enemy character. Enemy character, I could draw a card. Enemy character, does it include the god? I think that includes a god, right? Or else it would say enemy creature. Mm. Well, anyway, let's see what he's going to do. Okay, more defense. 2-4 front line. I mean, that doesn't stop me. I can do... Okay, what's he doing? Okay, now it's going to do some damage. I could still kill it. And then 11-12... Plus three damage, that's 15, if it attacks the god. Or I can use, yeah, I mean, either way, I use Devouring Blade. If that doesn't work, and then I win the game. Right? Yeah, let me buy this. <laughs> I mean, if I, if I mess up, I still win, I think. So let's see if this works. It should work. Yeah, it's going to let me. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, okay. So we won, and we learned something new. All right. One game in the books. Let's see. Does that take us up to Twilight Shadow? I don't think it does. But let's find out really quick. And we'll queue up and do another game real quick. Almost level... Ah, uh, uh, oh, not level 20. What a tease. All right. We got a giant vial, super giant vial. So I think those give you f this flux currency that I need to read up on. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, one more, one more. We got to go one more. So close to leveling up. And re I mean, remember guys, this is like the very first custom uh, deck that we've built and used. We went on a good win streak through the lower levels. Granted, I don't really know where like what level things are going to get more complicated. I still see a lot of like, I've, I've seen some crazy like, I played against some kind of like zombie deck earlier and I won. Um, because I was like learning on the go. So I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to see some more interesting decks, but okay, one, two, three. I mean, that's not too bad of a start. One, two, three, but Battle Bar doesn't give anything. I'm wasting his ability. Ugh, Flurry, Fury doesn't help me right now. I could keep the hatchet and the serum doesn't help at all. So get what do I get instead? Okay, Highland Defender. Oh, okay, Blood Boy Outlaw. Yeah, we start here. Do I want to give Battle Bard strength to him the, with the roar? I don't think so. I think... Because mm, then I'm already letting my the enemy know what I'm doing. I'd rather keep it in the back pocket. No. Let's keep it in the back pocket. Paffy! Let's see how you do today, Paffy. Alright, a 3-3 three, three with regen. And it's confused. It's Oh, okay, now I have options. Deadly Arsenal, Battle Bard. Um, I could clear it with the Hatchet. Um, I could do Hatchet plus Crystal for another mana. And then Battle Bard. Mm. Let's clear it with the Hatchet because then I, I want to keep my board. And if the Outlaw attacks, it's going to go up one. So we killed it. Let's go up one. And let's just save our Crystal for now. 
I don't really see a reason to use these. I'd rather hold them until... I guess it's more for them to have to be forced to predict. Damn, four damage? That's massive. That was for two? A two cost four damage? Damn. All right. Um, I could go up to the Highland Defender. Or I could... Yeah, I think I want to do that. Let's use our crystal now to get an early advantage. I mean, I've been liking using these crystals early game. Granted, because I have little minions, but like... Sometimes it gives you like a really big advantage. Still got the battle bard. Still my got my red my raid revelier with the protected deadly arsenal. Take one damage random. Oh, okay. Random? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad. He didn't do nothing. He must like have really high cards in his hand. Um I think we just we got to do some damage here, but who do we keep for the next rounds? Who do we keep? I mean, maybe we use the Battle Bard. Just power him up. Let's use it now. We haven't been able to use it the entire game. Highland Defender Raid. I mean, I don't know what's better here. We already have a front line. Let's just do mm, this, I guess. Yeah, let's just use him. There's plus two. Give him another plus two, plus one. Okay, now he's beefy and we're attacking the face. Like, I always, like, what I've been noticing is, like, there's always, like, one round with this deck where I have to do massive damage. And he gave me a free attack, you know? So I got to take advantage of it while I got it, I guess. One damage to a random enemy, and it is... Oh, seriously? There goes the front line. That's okay. I can get a next another one the next one. Deal six damage to the next strongest enemy? Damn. That's a massive attack. I guess it's single target. Maybe that's why it's so powerful. All right, two, three, two. I can give him three, two. If I could develop the board more. I don't only have 10 favor. I mean, I could put a front line back on the board. Or, I mean, he's giving me an open face again. I should, hmm. All right, well, I mean, it, like he's protected, right? And like, What's he going to do to pop that right now? And anything he does is going to cost him mana, right? So... I'll t if he wants to take out that shield, that's fine. He'll cost him some mana. And I still have these bad boys to play on the next turn, which I can increase the attack on one of them. Deal one damage random. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no. Well, even if it, if it popped the protected, like, that's two, two mana on this turn. Oh, he did nothing? Oh, he's giving up, bro. Yeah, this is game over. Wait, well, not... He's gonna let me hit face again. But then I... Do I burn the veteran right now? Um... Yeah, there's front line over here. 13 favor. Yeah, let's do this. All right, I'm protected and I'm beefy. Now you're down to nine, so you got to do something now or it's game over. I'm already threatening, le threatening lethal on the next one. Deal one damage, roar. Frontline, deal one damage, random. He's trying to pop it. Okay, he popped it. Now what? You only have three mana left. That's a one. Two, two. Random energy takes the strongest creature. Ooh. Oh, it's only two damage. Yeah, game over. I mean, he let me attack his face twice, but that should be it. That should be it. I should now be Twilight Shadow rank. Let's see what we got here. I should have leveled up. And have I done it with this first custom build? Level 19? Okay, we went to, up to level 19. We earned a pack. I'll take it. We'll open it right now real quick while we sign off here. But show me the nice... Yeah... Twilight Shadow unlocked. Hey, not bad with our first custom deck, you know, and we're still running through it. But I do know that things are probably going to increase in difficulty here. Let's open this pack while we sign off. But again, you know, we're going to look into some more things. I still, I think it was successful with our very first custom deck, which probably wasn't that great, but it did enough to get us up to this level. Um, and we're just going to keep it going, you know. Um, I do think it's time to start looking into, in preparation for things getting more difficult, into building, you know, a deck where I go ahead and uh, make some purchases off the marketplace. But uh, we're going to do a little research for that. 
But uh, we already won rare. Maybe this will be the last rare two rares in a pack. We'll take it. All right. I'll catch you guys on the next video then.